Hi everyone, this is our PowerFlow Power Flow Dental Halter. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a demo um, of how I use it in my practice. Um, so this is our dental halter, it's a polyethylene um, enforced rod, kind of in the top and bottom of this, um, just to be able to support the head once it's in there. Um, this is a cleat that we, uh, this is kind of what keeps the, the head up and um, you put your rope through. So I'm just gonna show you how um, I use it on a sedated horse. Um, usually I have the speculum on the horse already and this uh, sedated, obviously. Um, so here. So this is our rope, so I hold it. Um, so this horse is in stock, so I'm obviously gonna use the stocks, but I've also done this over um, tree branches. I've done this in shelters, um, on the top of uh, stall doors, um, anything really that's above that's really sturdy. Um, so all I wanna do is throw it on the inside and then have it come over and towards us forward here. this. Um, so once you get the other end, you just feed it through the top of the cleat. Then you push the rope down into the cleat and it'll stay. So that's all you need to do. Um, so again, once you have your, your speculum in the horse's mouth, all I do is pop it under. You know, I'm just like a regular halter. You don't want it too tight. Um, you want the bottom of the halter to be under the chin of the horse. Very important to keep um, to be able to support the head properly and then all I do um, is I pull the rope the uh, loose end of the rope towards me to undo the cleat put my hand um, in a V under the cleat push up grab the rope so it doesn't come down reposition my hand grab the rope and then once you get to the head to where you want it, push the rope back into the cleat and it'll hold the head up for you. Um, once I get going, I find this rope gets in my way. Um, so all I do is put it through the halter like this. You still wanna be able to grab this. So if something happens, the horse um, reacts to something and, um, and you wanna avoid a wreck, all you need to do, um, pull your rope, undo the cleat. It undoes as a quick, a quick release. Um, so that's how I let the horse's head down as well, obviously, when I'm done. So when we're up. So all, all you do, again, just pull the end of the rope towards you, undoes the cleat, and you just let it down slowly. So there's uh, another way that people um, like lifting their head as well. So that other method is just grabbing the end of your rope, go towards you, pull the head up, and then pull down on the rope. And then it just kind of automatically locks a little bit for you too. So that's another way to do it. Lift the head, pull down on the rope, lock the head. So that's the other way to do it as well.